So this has been called really your shop. This is a machine shop of M5. This is, I guess, where you do all your metal work. This is also, though, the gadget room in a sense because uh, this is where all the small mechanical parts are. And uh, if we're fabricating uh, some, you know, whiz bang gadget, it's happening right here. I see. Uh, the, what's unique about this particular shop, as far as a machine shop or a gadget shop, is that we have really small scale stuff to really large scale. We've got uh, not many machine shops that you would go into that you'll find uh, 080 um, or smaller bolts and nuts. No. Uh, at, at the same, that is over there? Yeah. Uh, at the same time as you'll find, uh, you know, like uh, a motorcycle chain like that or, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, plumbing parts. Um, this is this. Uh, what's contained in all these little boxes all over the inside of this shop is just uh, uh, extraordinary. The shop and and our capabilities have evolved. Mm -hmm. What we build is determined by the contents of these drawers. Mm -hmm. You know, if we have it, it often ends up becoming part of a solution. What was this this small chain for? That, that's kind of I've never seen anything that small. Um, I like, use that all the time. It's uh, we, uh, we 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 sometimes make uh, it's for small scale uh, linkages and you know little mm -hmm. gears and sprockets. Um, and again, going from that to this, yeah, in, in one shop is is kind of unique. I have a, have my favorite set of drawers is actually over here. This is an old card catalog file that uh, that I have uh, perverted into another use, and uh, and it's just like uh, I mean, uh, there are things in here that like this is one of those things that. Uh, if you if you have ever worked in a custom machine shop, yep. somebody that has stocks of crap like this is a, this is probably around four hundred dollars. No kidding. Um, for one of these little ring bearings, and uh, uh, you know they're uh, oh, they're wow. stuff that I pick up in uh, in salvage places, or you know when when I run across them, I know what they're worth, and so I snag them if I find a deal on them. See, here's little uh, tape drives. Those are the tape drives that I describe as uh, what I pulled the little uh, those little motors out of upstairs in the spider. You yeah. see, uh, they've already had uh, so many of these pulled out. There's there's that little motor. Wow. And you know, I paid a like a buck a piece for these at, at some kind of flea market, and real I knew what they were. And so I've got like, you know, a hundred of them or something like that. And, wow. uh, and those little motors, I have yet to find anything that's like it. You know, you go from, again, uh, uh, motors like that or uh, little Swiss motors to um, these are like uh, pager motors for, uh, you know, from, from pagers or from cell phones. To vibrate? They're, they're little vibrator motors. And, uh, you know, it's like having a, a, a shop that has this stuff, as well as like, you know, 50 horsepower electric car motors over in mm -hmm. another cubby mm -hmm. hole is, that's what you need to, to, if you've got a shop that can build anything.